Let's go to our guest. Our guest today, folks, is Tina Winner. Tina is the founder and president of Winner Partners. Winnerpartners.net is the website. And uh, Tina Winner, they are an executive search recruitment company. Tina, welcome to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. First off, I'm sure you got to thank your father. That name is like the ultimate. <laughs> Tina Winner, right? You're in the executive search <laughs> program. I mean, all your life, I bet it's been great. <laughs> no doubt. The name needed to be used. Uh, there is no doubt. So, you know, we got plenty of listeners out here. You're in an intriguing business, okay? Um, tell us what your business is like and, and what firms look for when people are out there looking for a job. Sure. Every day is an adventure, Tom. Uh, we work across multiple industries, so it kind of feeds the intellectual curiosity that I have. Uh, every day we're working on something different. It could be an economic development organization, something in the tourism industry, and then, of course, we have a whole host of private sector clients, and uh, we do quite a bit in the food industry. And um, one of the things that we do is really partner. The winner partner uh, name is intentional. Yes. Um, we partner with clients to really understand and immerse ourselves in their organizations so that when we go to market with one of their opportunities, we're an extension of their brand. And it's very exciting to hear the innovative things that are happening in all the different industries, how people are doing things differently after the pandemic and what shifts they're making to their model. And then the partner part of the candidate equation, people are looking at uh, a new opportunity. It could mean a potential move for them. It could, uh, could mean a, a, a career move for their spouse or significant other as well as they change locations. So it's serious business and we really want to partner and be, uh, be a resource for those individuals that are making big decisions. What happens when you have um, one of your partner companies, right, um, wants a few, let's say just folks, and you feel that you've got two or three great folks and now you have to make it by, well, if they want, you know, the woman and the family, you have to make it by the husband. If you have the husband and the family, you got to make it by the wife, all right? Tell me about those challenges, because I've seen some of those, but I, and it, it's always intriguing to me, because as you just said, sometimes it's very big moves. And, you know, so, so tell me that dynamic. Show me that dynamic. Just bring us through that dynamic. Absolutely. It's a conversation that we have early and often when we present a new opportunity. I see. Okay. We right. want to understand where they are in, in their family's ecosystem. If there is someone, um, a, a spouse or partner that would need to change, change their jobs, is their job portable? Um, we can oftentimes help to make introductions if they do need to re-engage in a new location. Also, you have children and support system factors um, that we need to take account for. Someone may need to have a resource for their child that's involved in fencing. And so we get really creative about understanding nice. what the needs are beyond the job because there is a whole family oftentimes moving and we want to make sure that everyone's happy when they get there. No, I, I, could, I could see this in a second. I could see one of your associates just got off the phone. They said, their children into fencing, and then you go, okay, we're gonna find some fencing instructors really quick. I like that, no, that, that, that's a great example. Okay, so we have Chairman Pyle today testifying. You are in a great position to give us some feedback salary-wise. What are you seeing out there about inflation, deflation, stability? It's the million dollar question, right? Yes, it is, <laughs> oh, it absolutely is, it absolutely is, right. It is, um, and pay scales are shifting. We see that um, from entry level positions that we're hearing about in the news, and I'm sure that you're talking to your audience about. And we wanna understand the, the compensation ranges when we're going to market. We wanna understand where the um, opportunity is to extend. Are there bonus potentials? Are there uh, stock options available? Um, sometimes there's still a pension out there as well. Yes. So we wanna understand what um, some of those uh, benefits and attractiveness outside of just the position are. Um, we are seeing, uh, 
upscale of compensation ranges for the positions that we're working on. We are an executive search firm, but the thing about working at the C level is there's only one of those positions. There's only one CEO right. um, typically within an organization. So we do work on VP level, uh, sometimes director level in large companies. And uh, so we want to have a good understanding of what the ranges are and what the tolerances are also for the the customer, the client, who may need to upgrade their compensation to get the right talent in the door. Sure. And so now what is also happening with the aspect that, you know, you, you seem to have some of the Silicon Valley companies, they're moving to Texas. They've always been in Austin. There's no doubt about that. They've been in the, Northern, uh, the Triangle down in North Carolina. What are you seeing there? Because I, I suspect, you know, if, if we were, if I was a young kid and, and I'm out there working, I would have loved to be able to break loose and go to the Caymans and work from the Caymans and make the same amount of money. So what are you seeing in that aspect? Is, is that is that on your table also? It is. And from a couple of different perspectives, we're seeing big wins for areas that typically weren't leading the country from an economic development standpoint. I saw just uh, to announce today in Phoenix where Tata Consulting is moving a big contingent there. Wow. So it's going to change their workforce, right? Yes. They need to uh, ensure that they've got the right talent on the ground there. And can those people work remotely um, and still support an organization that's based in Phoenix? We're seeing many communities that are offering um, incentives for people to move where they are remote workers. You'll see this in Oklahoma, and I think Vermont is another area where they've given $10,000 for people to come and work and work remotely from their communities. That's pretty cool. Now, you're based in St. Pete. Did you grow up around here? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Pennsylvania and oh. then spent uh, 15 years in Texas, few more years in Pittsburgh, and then I traded that burg for St. Petersburg. Okay, well, you got to get us some more people in St. Petersburg. We need these jobs down here. You know, I've been down here 25 years now, but I'm from South Boston in Boston, and I saw that grow exponentially. People think Boston was always what it was, and I tell them, it's like, you have no clue, man. There were only three, there was only two insurance buildings that were that were high rises in 1968. It's hard to believe, right? I mean, so so you got to get more people coming to St. Pete for us. Absolutely, <laughs> St. Pete was known as arts and culture and kind of a, yes. an eclectic area, and now it's becoming a dynamo for attracting innovative companies. And we we see some some folks moving into the area that we just didn't think that they would be here, but they are, and they're enjoying all the amenities that we have. You gotta love it. Listen, folks, Tina, her website is winnerpartners.net. Tina, this has been awesome. I appreciate the education. Look forward to having you on again. Thanks, Tom. Thank you so much. Have a great one, a safe one. You as well. Thank you, bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. There you go. You gotta love it, man. Stay right there, we'll come right back. <laughs>